General Manager Rick Mize came to work the missing a major piece of the Q97.3 family. For the last 16 years, he sat alongside Stan Sandroni, a man who he says Oxford will never forget. He had that kind of relationship with the community. So, you know, he, he's, he's going to be he's going to be somebody that uh, that you'll you'll miss that voice. That voice will be silent and uh, and it'll it'll be deafening. Good about it, David, is you get that good snap, good hold, and Bryce and drove it through. And we did get something out, out of the interception. I think it was Chucky. With more than 20 years of experience with Rebel Athletics, Sandroni also was ready to help any young person who needed him. Newswatch sports reporter Colin Cody considers Sandroni a mentor. Physical with him. He allowed me to go to a radio station and sit in on talks and always tell me to record, record myself talking so I can listen to my voice. And um, without Stan, I, I don't think I would have been as prepared, honestly. Now the Rebel community prepares to begin yeah, right. the football season without Stan on the sideline. For Newswatch 99, I'm Jared Boyd reporting. His face mask was flushed into the back. I mean, as Gabe caught the ball, he was coming down with motion going in, and Bullard was coming forward, and it's just a very vicious collision.